Let your love light shine with these glowing LED filament letters from Adafruit. Each of these letters requires three volts of power. If we wire them up in parallel, that means we need 12 volts to power the whole strand. I'm using this 12 volt boost converter to step up the voltage from my 5 volt battery. I've also added a clicky on off switch and a 100 ohm resistor. I'm using a red wire for the power line and a black wire for ground. Power comes from the JST connector and goes through the switch. I'm covering the connections with heat shrink so they stay secure and don't short out against anything. Next we'll run the wire to the in pin on the boost converter. Continue with the red wire coming out of the 12 volt hole. Next connect this wire to your resistor. I like to twist little loops in the resistor legs to make it easier to attach the wire. Resistors can go in either direction, so don't worry about whether you have it the right way or not. I like to cover the whole thing with heat shrink to keep it safe. For your black wire, start with the JST connector's ground pin, and then run it directly to the ground pin on the boost converter. There's only one ground pin hole on this boost converter, but we need a wire going in and a wire going out, so twist two ground wires together before you solder them into the hole. Now we can connect up the letters. I like to tin all the pads on all the letters with a good thick blob of solder. That makes it a little easier to stick the wire in there and then just hold it while the solder dries and the wire will be firmly fixed in place. Each wire goes from the anode of one letter to the cathode of the next letter until you get to the last letter where we're going to reconnect that red wire back to our boost converter. Plug in your battery and flip the switch and if all goes well your lights will come on. From my lamp base I used a small piece of hardwood and ran it through my table saw to make some grooves. I made one groove on the back side that's just big enough for all the electronics and made sure to glue the switch so that it's sticking up slightly above the orientation of the base so that when I press down on the base, it will turn the letters on and off. glue the letters into place to managing the wires. Next time I might not use red wires. You can use a heat gun to even out the hot glue once it's been set. Tap on your light when it's time for some love. Find a link for all the materials in this build at learn.adafruit.com and remember to subscribe for more fun project videos.